Look at that. And you're done. It's that easy. You take just a quick minute to talk about this little downspout. Some of you have got this, some of you haven't. Um, it's crack key method. No aeration, no pumps. You don't need any of that. All you do is put a little bit of nutrient solution inside of it and pop your plants in. So these pool noodles, here I'll show you one right here, a little piece. Now some of them, you see me before take a scissors and we'll cut it and take that little piece that's cut out and put it inside and, and squeeze it around the plant. That's when you're growing your little microgreens and you need something to kind of hold it so they don't fall through there. When you go buy these transplants from Home Depot or Lowe's, fit right down inside of there. See the roots? Just rinse a little bit off. You don't have to be real particular. You know, there's still stuff in there and there's no pumps, you know, to clog up. So just rinse off the roots, hose them off a little bit. It takes like, you know, 10 seconds. Get your little pool noodle. I don't even cut it because see how thick that is already? That's a little head of romaine right down inside of there. Look at that, and you're done. It's that easy. Take this, I just filled it up to here. Nutrient solution. Now I don't have this end sealed, so it's not gonna go all the way up. It's that far down. So there's that much air space in there. It's not totally filled up to the top, but this will sit down inside of there. See right there's where the rim of this is hitting. So you got a little bit of air space. And as this starts to use water, it starts to evaporate a little, this goes down and this becomes a little moist area that it needs to absorb ox oxygen. And then your roots grow down into the nutrient solution. So this is perfect. It takes me about a, five minutes to rinse the soil off of these. I don't even have to cut it, just put it in a pool noodle like that. Pop it in. Repeat five times and you're done. How easy is that? And as you can tell right now, I'm in Florida, gorgeous weather, but it's starting to heat up to the 90s again. So I don't want these guys sitting in the sun all day long. They get a little bit of morning sun. The sun's coming up over the tree line. They're gonna get a little bit of light till right about there a few hours later. And it's gonna hit the shade again. So I've got it in a spot where I know that it gets a few hours of sun, maybe four hours and then it gets back in the shade. So if you're still in a cool part of the country and it's like, you know, 70 or 80 degrees and you can set these out in full sun, but that way this stays cool, these guys don't wilt too much and they're already big enough that in a couple of weeks, I'll be pulling pieces off of my sandwiches. Uh, now in this type of system, I never grow a full head of romaine like you used to see them, like you get in the grocery store. This will grow and I use it as a cut and come again. So it'll start growing and I'll just come out here whenever I need a couple of these, cut a couple off of each plant if I need to, maybe just one or two off one plant if it's just a sandwich and let it just keep growing. So that's what I do with the romaine. Like I said, this type of system isn't like your traditional garden where you're gonna grow a, a whole head of uh, pak choy or a whole head of celery, uh, root vegetables and things like that. But for getting leafy greens, it's really easy and it's simple. So go ahead and give that a try. That was just a pack of six. I got one more sitting in another downspout somewhere. My new ones that I'm building, I built out with six holes. So if you buy a pack of six, one of these is perfect. You put six plants in it, it takes you about five minutes to plant out, stick it outside and you're all set. So what are you waiting for? Okay, right, don't forget, live to inspire. Keep on growing. I love y'all. Peace. Peace.